So good day and good afternoon everyone. Welcome again to another e-bike vlog. So as you can see I've been using this e-bike for quite some time already but there are some things that I uh, so, so I've been using this e-bike uh, converted road bike for quite some time already but there are just a few things that I have uh, noticed while using this uh, e-bike conversion especially using the mid-drive so let me show you this one so as you might have noticed there is a chain line issue between the, the rear sprocket and the mid-drive uh, motor since the mid-drive motor was installed it uh, ended up having quite a bit of a space between here and the front uh, chain drive okay so this is the stock chain ring for the conversion kit so as you can see here there's really a big gap in between the chain ring and uh, here so it's almost uh, two millimeters I think here as I can put my finger in here so before this was converted to an e-bike this one here usually is only about uh, less than one uh, one millimeter thick one centimeter, uh, millimeter thick here so with the e-bike conversion especially with the mid drive there's really a big space between here causing this chain line issue Especially if you put the rear cogs at the biggest. So by the way, this this uh, rear rear uh, cogs here came from my converted uh, mountain bike. So I just transferred it here. Maybe also to solve this chain line issue, I might go back to using the old 8-speed cassette here maybe just have to clean it a little bit and install it in the rear this one since I don't really need a big uh, sprocket at the back since this is already an e-bike okay so with this uh, to somewhat solve this issue I bought something online and here it is so this one was uh, purchased online by uh, Aliexpress since I couldn't find something to replace the chain line or the chain ring at the front so this is what I purchased so this one is made for the BBS 2 b this is a 42T uh, chain ring that we'll be using to replace the stock version of the chain ring so let's try to compare it with the existing one this will now be the new chain ring so as so to take a better look for this we'll remove this one first and compare it side by side with the new chain ring okay so I have already removed the stock version of the uh, chain ring which is a 4060 well this one is uh, 42 t uh, 42t this one is 46 so as you might have noticed this one is a little bit bigger because of a much uh, number of teeth 
since it is this one is 46 but comparing it uh, side by side on the bottom angle hope you can see the difference so this one is much more in to the body of the frame well this one the stock one is quite farther away let's try to flip it around so that one so this one is much better compared to the other one also comparing the uh, teeth size here the gold one is much uh, taller so it has taller teeth compared to the original one so maybe this could help the chain from jumping over okay so let's try to install this one and so let's try to install this one on the bike If you like videos like this, kindly hit that subscribe button below and follow my channel. Okay, so this is now much uh, closer, but only a little bit. But hopefully this will improve the chain line issue once we tested this one but first we need to replace this one with the old 8-speed socket cassette and install this back later so we'll be using this one WD-40 to somewhat clean it a little bit So let's now check for the alignment of the chain ring. So, so far it looks so good. Especially after reinstalling also the original uh, Shimano High Glide um, rear socket sprocket. Okay. So let's try to change and shift it to the highest gear.
so we are now on the lowest gear shall say and as we check on the chain line it's now quite okay as compared to the previous one and also as observed uh, this one this new chain ring has a bigger tooth so it's over already of the chain okay. so hopefully this will be good and uh, solve the problem of chain line issue and jumping uh, chain so that's it so we'll just make some few adjustments for the rear shifter and test it again later Okay, so hopefully with this new chain ring, it will already solve the chain line issue and the jumping of the chain as you can see on this uh, update. So, if you think that this video is helpful for you, just give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. See you in the next one. Bye!